Good afternoon, year one. I hope you're all well and are looking after yourselves. Today, I am back with another Ari lesson and we will be learning all about Shabbat. Before we get started, I like to see who can remember what the word celebration means from the last lesson. So talk to your pencil. What do you think the word celebration means? Have a few minutes to think about that and then you can share your answer with your magic pencil. Celebrations are when people celebrate special moments in their lives. So if you remember that, well done. And we also discussed how there can be different celebrations in different religions and how celebrations can also be very personal to individuals. Now I have a question for you all to think about. Can you think of any other reasons why you may celebrate? Once you have thought of these answers, I would like you to share them with your screen. So pause the video, have a think of any celebrations that you may, that could be celebrated or you might celebrate and then share these answers with your screen. And once you have done this, we'll come back together and share our answers. Great job, year one. Lots of you have said that you celebrate your birthday. Some of you mentioned that you celebrate when you do well in your spelling tests. So well done. Some of you also mentioned how you might celebrate something that is personal to you. Things like Eid, Diwali, Christmas. So all of these festivals are something that is personal to you and you should it should be celebrated. So well done if you came up with any of those ideas. Here is another question for you. What festival celebration have we been learning about in the last few days? Pause the video, have a think about all the things you've learned in RE so far. And what was that name called of the religious festival that we have learnt all about? Well done if you said the name Hanukkah. So Hanukkah was a religious festival that we've been learning all about. And does anybody remember what Hanukkah is all about and why Jews celebrate it? Pause the video and then I'd like you to share your answer with your magic pencil. Great job year one. So Hanukkah is an eight day festival celebrating a time in history when the Jews won a battle against the Greeks because they wanted to uh, celebrate, they wanted to practice their religion freely and they won this battle against them which meant they were not scared of celebrating their own religion, they were not scared of following their own religion now, so it was such a big time for the Jews. So we've looked at the religious festival Hanukkah and today we are going to look at another one that is celebrated by Jews worldwide and this one is called Shabbat. So let's learn all about Shabbat today. Before we get started, I'd like you to say the name of this religious festival with me. My turn first. Shabbat. Your turn. Shabbat. Well done. So let's find out about Shabbat. Shabbat happens on the seventh day, which is a Saturday of every week. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So Shabbat begins on the Saturday. Now here is a very interesting fact about Judaism and Shabbat. So in Judaism, the day is defined by with the cycle of the sun. So it doesn't matter whether it's midnight. That is not when the new day will begin. It actually depends on how the cycle of the sun works. So the day begins and ends at sunset, not midnight. So the seventh day of the week, Shabbat begins. And Friday, it is when the sun goes down and it ends on Saturday night after it gets dark. Now, the idea of Shabbat comes from the Bible story of creation. So in that story, Jews believe that God creates the universe and everything on the earth within six days. And on the seventh day, which was a Saturday, he stopped, he stopped working. So in the same way, Jews work the first six days of the week. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, they work for the first six days of the week and when it comes to the seventh day which is a Saturday that is when they stop working and have a break have a rest because they believe God created the world in six days and then on the seventh day he had a break and this is why Shabbat is celebrated. So Shabbat is the name of the day of rest in Judaism. So pause the video I'd like you to repeat that phrase to your magic pencil Shabbat is the name of the day of rest in Judaism. So now let's take a closer look at how Shabbat preparations are made. All Jewish people hurry home on Friday to make sure that they are in time for the beginning of Shabbat. And when they come home, they make sure that the house is sparkling and clean. They ensure that candles are ready to be lit. 
and they also make sure that the table is laid with the best tablecloth and the best cutlery available. Now, this is a very important factor to mention here that because Jews don't want to work on that Saturday because it is their rest day, they make sure that the food is already prepared so they don't need to do any cooking on that day. So one of the key important foods that is needs to be on the table is called the challah. And the challah is a special piece of bread. And this bread is covered with the on the is put on the table with a special cloth called a challah deki. So can you repeat that special name of bread with me? Challa. Challa. Well done. Now we're going to find out how Shabbat is celebrated. So what do Jews do on this special day? But before I share those answers with you, I'd like you to pause the video and think about what are the things that you do on your special religious festival days. So, for example, when you celebrate Eid, think of all the things that you do together as a family. Or when you celebrate Christmas, what are the things that you do? Or if you celebrate Diwali or any other religious festival, what do you do on your special day? Well done, year one. Lovely to hear all those beautiful answers. Now let's look at what people do on Shabbat. Now the Shabbat meals contains of some very special food. And in tomorrow's lesson, we are going to be looking at all the different foods that must be on the table when it is Shabbat. So they cook some special food. They wear their best clothes. So on Shabbat, they have some special clothes that everyone has to wear and they choose to be looking their best during this time of festival. Another thing that they do as a family is sing. So on the Shabbat day, the family will get together and they will sing songs together. Now, before the day comes to an end and after they've celebrated doing all those fun stuff with the family during the day, a special prayer has to be made. And if this prayer is not done, then the day will not really come to a close. So a verbal prayer that is, is made is done to close the day. And this verbal prayer is called a Havdala. Can you repeat that for me? Havdala. Havdala. Well done. Now, when this prayer is made, there must be three things in front of the person saying the prayer. And these three things are called wine, a candle and some spice. So the person saying the prayer needs to have all these three things in front of them. And then they will say their prayer. And once they've done said it, saying their prayer, then they will close the day and that will be the end of the ceremony. Now it is time for your independent task. So I'd like you to turn to this page here that is shown on the screen in your home learning packs. If you don't have a pack, that is fine. This picture is also uploaded on Seesaw for you to do. So the lesson is called, how do Jewish people or Jewish children celebrate Shabbat? So the, they've got three questions that I need you to answer today. The first question is a personal one. So it says, what do you do at the weekend? So if you do any of those following options, I'd like you to put a tick next to it. And the options are relax, pray, cook and clean, or maybe you have your parents cook and clean. And the last option is play. So if you do any of those things, I'd like you to just put a little tick next to it. Now, the second question says Shabbat is a Jewish day of rest, which falls on the seventh day, which is a Saturday. What can you see these Jewish children doing? So anything that you can see the Jewish children doing, I would like you to maybe write a sentence just to tell me how they were celebrating Shabbat as a family. And then the last thing at the bottom is just a little talk task for you to do, which says that family eat special foods together, they tell stories together and they sing songs. So if you can remember anything that you've learned about Shabbat today, I'd like you to share it with a family member you may have in your house, or maybe you can tell your magic pencil anything that you've learned about Shabbat. And if you'd like to, you can also send a voice recording on Seesaws for your teachers to see, or maybe you want to write a sentence for me and the other year one teacher to see. So thank you, Year One. I'm sure you enjoyed that lesson. I really hope you did. And I can't wait to see all your responses on Seesaw. See you tomorrow for another lesson on RE. Bye.